Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about clonazepam. Palm. How this drug acts as anxiolytic and anti convulsant agent. What are the precautions that should be considered? Drug interactions and side effects of clonazepam we will discuss in this video. What is this drug clonazepam? The suffix azepam indicates this drug is a benzodiazepine. We have few of the other drugs within this category such as dizepam, oxazepam, lorazepam, temazepam. All these drugs are ending with the suffix azepam, which indicates that these drugs belong to the category of benzodiazepines. Here the last three letters P A M indicates they are positive allosteric modulators. Clonazepam is useful as anticonvulsant agent. It is used to treat the different types of seizures. Particularly this drug can be used to treat myoclonic seizures. These myoclonic seizures involve the muscle spasms and jerky movements involving shoulder, neck and upper arms. In such conditions clonazepam can be used. And this drug is also indicated in one type of severe seizures, Lennox Gastaut syndrome. This syndrome is one type of severe partial seizures, which includes severe convulsions as well as muscle spasms. Similarly, clonazepam can also be used in echinitic seizures. These echinitic seizures are also called as atonic seizures or drop attacks. So these seizures result in the severe muscle spasms which results in the dropping of the patients when they are going to race. So in all these conditions clonazepam can be used as an anti-convulsant agent. Similarly this drug being a benzodiazepine it can be used in the anxiety and particularly clonazepam is indicated for panic anxiety disorder. So this is one of the anxiety state where panic conditions can be observed in the patients. For instance the patient may have palpitations, the awareness of heartbeat, sweating, choking, some chest pain, tremors along with the symptoms of fear and tension. All this can be observed in the patients. In such panic anxiety disorder clonazepam can be used. So today in this video we are going to discuss about this clonazepam. What is the structure of this clonazepam? So this is the structure of clonazepam. And here we can observe it is a benzodiazepine derivative. Let us give the numbering. We have to start the numbering from the first nitrogen on the seven membered ring system. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Then we have to continue the numbering to the benzene ring six, seven, eight, nine. So here we can observe that in the clonazepam, a nitro group is present at the seventh position. And this nitro group is electron withdrawing group. Because of this group, the activity of benzodiazepines increases. Normally, benzodiazepines require an electron withdrawing group at the seventh position. Most of the benzodiazepines like dizepam, oxepam, temzepam are having chlorine group at the seventh position. But here in the clonazepam, nitro group is present. Both chlorine as well as nitro groups are electron withdrawing groups, which increase the activity of benzodiazepines. So clonazepam is a benzodiazepine derivative and nitrogens are present at first and fourth position. So we can call this as 1,4 benzodiazepine and it is having a ketone group at the second position. So we can write the suffix of the name as 1,4 benzodiazepine 2 ohm. Similarly, if we see the attachments, fifth position a phenyl ring is there along with 2 chloro group. So we can write this as 5 dash 2 chlorophenyl and first and third portions are saturated so 1,3 dihydro, seventh portion nitro group is there so 7 nitro and finally an extra hydrogen is present at the second portion so 2H. So that is a complete name of clonazepam. So clonazepam is a benzodiazepine with nitro group at the seventh portion. Now let us see how this drug acts. Within the CNS, GABA A receptors are expressed which are the receptors for the inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA. Now GABA is an amino acid neurotransmitter which is inhibitory in nature. In order to increase the action of GABA we can use the drugs like clonazepam. 
So clonazepam is a benzodiazepine which acts as a positive allosteric modulator. It is not directly producing the inhibition but it increases the action of GABA on the GABA A receptors thereby it increases the inhibitory response. Now this clonazepam can bind to this benzodiazepine binding site which is located between alpha and gamma subunits which promotes the binding of GABA on the GABA A receptors. Now this GABA can bind to the two binding sites between the alpha and beta subunits. Once this GABA binds to GABA A receptors, it opens the chloride channels and since chloride ions are in negative in charge, they produce hyperpolation within the membrane. So by opening of this GABA gated chloride channels, the postsynaptic cells are inhibited resulting in decreased agitation and convulsions in the patients. In this way, clonazepam can act as anxiolytic as well as anti-convulsant agent. Now let us see what are the precautions of clonazepam. Just we have seen that clonazepam can be used in the treatment of seizures like myoclonic seizures, lennox gastrot syndrome and atonic seizures. But when this drug is prescribed in the patients who are having multiple seizure disorders, few of the patients may have generalized tonic clonic seizures otherwise absent seizures. If patient is having the multiple types of seizures, then use of clonazepam may precipitate the generalized tonic clonic seizures. That's why this drug should be carefully given in the patients and those who are having myoclonic seizures, akinetic seizures and lennox gastrot syndrome only, this drug should be used. In other types of multiple seizure disorders, it will precipitate generalized tonic-clonic seizures. In such conditions, the clonazepam should not be used and alternative drugs like valproate and other anticonvulsants should be used in order to control this generalized tonic-clonic seizures. Similarly, it was observed that this clonazepam when it is used for less than 3 months, it may result in loss of anticonvulsant activity. So in few of the patients, the action of clonazepam may be lost within 3 months of the treatment. Again, in such conditions, the patient should be treated with other anticonvulsant agents. Second important precaution is that clonazepam can increase psychotic symptoms. This drug may precipitate few of the symptoms like hallucinations, nightmares, agitation, anxiety and irritability in the patients and particularly these symptoms such as anxiety and agitation are resembling some anxiety disorder. So these side effects of clonazepam are the paradoxical side effects. Paradoxical means the drug is producing the same side effects similar to the disorder for which it is prescribed. So actually clonazepam is going to reduce the anxiety but paradoxically it can also increase the anxiety, agitation and irritability in the patients along with some psychotic symptoms. So any of these symptoms are increased in the patients then clonazepam should not be used and it should be replaced with alternative agent. And particularly these paradoxical effects are observed mainly in the children which should be carefully monitored. Similarly clonazepam can also increase the salivation. So hypersalivation is one of the condition that can be observed with the treatment of clonazepam. And some respiratory depression can also be observed. So in the patients already having respiratory problems clonazepam should be carefully used. And porphyria this drug may increase the porphyrin levels resulting in porphyria. So if any patient is already having liver disorder, this clonazepam should be carefully given. Now let us see the drug interactions of clonazepam. When this clonazepam is given along with opioids, opioids are the steroidal analgesic agents which also produce CNS depression and clonazepam is a benzodiazepine which can also produce CNS depression. So when these drugs are combined, they may produce few of the side effects like sedation, respiratory depression and even coma as well as death in the patients. So this is one of the significant drug interaction between the clonazepam and opioids because opioids produce sedation and respiratory depression and clonazepam also produce sedation and CNS depression. So this combination may lead to coma and death in the patients. So whenever opioids are co-prescribed, the dose of the clonazepam should be reduced and the symptoms in the patient should be closely monitored. Just we have seen that clonazepam produce CNS depression but we have so many other drugs which again produce CNS depression. 
not only the drugs the components in the food like alcohol can also produce serious depression otherwise barbiturates such as phenobarbital phenothiazines like chlorpromazine butrophenones like haloperidol all these drugs can produce serious depression so whenever these drugs are prescribed along with the clonazepam, palm they may produce severe serious depression what are the withdrawal effects Another important aspect of clonazepam is that this drug may produce some dependence resulting in some withdrawal effects. So when this drug is going to be stopped suddenly, it can produce few of the symptoms such as anxiety. The anxiety is further increased along with some blurred vision, dizziness, fatigue, hypertension and irritability, insomnia, lack of sleep, restlessness tachycardia the heart rate is going to be increased tremor diarrhea and decrease in the appetite resulting in weight loss depression as well as convulsions can be observed in the patients so here we can clearly observe that clonazepam is going to reduce the anxiety as well as convulsions but when this drug is suddenly stopped it may increase the withdrawal symptoms which are quite opposite to the effects produced by clonazepam so here anxiety as well as conversions may be increased along with other withdrawal symptoms. That's why clonazepam should not be stopped suddenly and the drug should be reduced slowly such that the withdrawal effects can be minimized. What are the side effects? This drug being a benzodiazepine, it can produce central side effects like drowsiness, dizziness, ataxia, loss of balance, nervousness, depression and some muscle incoordination can also be observed because benzodiazepines produce muscle paralysis which results in the muscle incoordination some fatigue confusion altered mental status can be observed memory impairment some loss of memory can be observed and they can also produce myalgia muscle pains along with these side effects when this clonazepam is suddenly stopped it can produce withdrawal symptoms how it is given Clonazepam is available as a tablet and it is available at the different strengths from 0.25 mg to 2 mg and the dose of the drug depends on the type of clinical indication. For the treatment of panic anxiety disorder, this drug is given at a low dose starting at 0.25 mg twice daily. After 3 days of the treatment, if the dose is not sufficient, it can be increased and the dose can be maintained at 1 mg per day even the maximum dose is 4 mg per day but 1 mg per day dose is sufficient to control panic anxiety disorder similarly for the treatment of seizures the initial dose is 1.5 mg per day which is divided as three times and the maximum dose that can be achieved for the treatment of seizures is 20 mg per day in divided doses but again here in the treatment of seizures this drug is particularly useful in the treatment of absent seizures such as myoclonic seizures, akinetic seizures and lennox gastrot syndrome. So that's about this clonazepam. Clonazepam is a benzodiazepine which is having the suffix palm which indicates positive allosteric modulator. This drug is going to modulate the action of GABA in a positive way. It is going to facilitate the binding of GABA on the GABA A receptors such that it opens the chloride channels which results in the hyperpolarization and inhibition of the postsynaptic response. Because of this inhibition, it can reduce the anxiety, agitation as well as convulsions in the patients. That's why this drug is used as anticonvulsant as well as anxiolytic. Particularly, it can be used to treat the absent seizures and it is prescribed for panic anxiety disorder which is associated with panic symptoms such as palpitations, tremors, sweating, anxiety and fear. This drug may precipitate generalized tonic clonic seizures if this drug is prescribed in the patients who are having multiple types of seizures. So it should be carefully given in the patients who are having absent seizures only. And in few of the patients the loss of treatment can also be observed within 3 months which should be closely monitored and should be treated with other alternative drugs. 
being a cns represent this drug should be carefully combined with other cns represents and along with the opioids this drug may produce sedation respiratory depression and even coma and death of the patient sedation dizziness sedation dizziness muscle incoordination memory impairment and myalgias are the important side effects of this clonazepam so that's about this drug hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video